if you go mushroom hunting and you don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to die. So you need to find somebody that knows what they're doing. Hey everybody, Captain Bud out here in the deep forest of Illinois, southern Illinois, or central, I don't know where I'm at. We're out here today mushroom hunting, because that's what pirates do, look for mushrooms, foraging. Oh, there's a loose, what is that? Ah, that's the elusive mushroom hunter looking for their next prey. Let's slowly approach one of them and ask him some questions. Hey, <laughs> find any mushrooms there? Mm, kind of some. What, what kind of bait do you use for mushroom hunting? <laughs> so the objective here, kids, is to find out who's going to be finding the first mushroom. I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to find any by looking in my camera. So I'm going to look around here. Tell you the truth, this is uh, this year here in uh, central Illinois. The mushroom season is about to end, we think, because uh, the, the weather right now is, is perfect, but I'm told. Uh, but it's going to get hot here in the few coming weeks, and that's going to kill the, the mushroom hunting in Illinois. That's okay. I'm, I like hunting, at least I used to. I like fishing. Mushroom hunting is uh, not my favorite. Not my favorite thing in the world. It's kind of boring, but it does give me an opportunity to get out in the forest and look at green and brown things. So that's a plus. We just got a report of the uh, first mushroom hunting find. Find any mushrooms over there? No. <laughs> put, she says, put the phone away and I'll find some. I did not think of that. I'm so excited to be here, I'm pissing my pants. Also, also just for reference, there's other people out in this forest that probably think that was a weird statement to say. Then again, mushroom hunting people are the kind of people that would pee their pants when they find a mushroom. I didn't, I uh, haven't found a mushroom, but, but look at this. Does that not look suspicious? I didn't put this here. I think somebody did though. Yep. Look at that. Walking stick. That is, that definitely looks like someone was jumping on it. I don't think it was a beaver, because that would make a beaver about eight foot tall. I don't think it was holding up that tree either because it would fall. Well, now I got a walking stick, kids. This is a good day. What you got over there? Mushrooms. How many did you find? Five. Uh, I've been looking up in the trees. I haven't seen any yet. <laughs> How about you, kid? You're, you're frozen like a deer. Like I don't think. <laughs> okay, I can see you now. I still got my walking stick though. Somehow not the mushrooms that we're supposed to be looking for. We're looking for morels. This is death. And apparently morels are on the ground. I don't know how they see them. You know what I mean? Everything's brown. And splotches of green. I'm told this is a peckerhead. Okay. Can you see it, boys and girls? There's some scat on the ground, but in this region of the world, this scat means somebody's got diarrhea. I don't know what that's from. It's pretty big. Certainly not a deer. Probably a small child would be my guess. The elusive morale. Mmm. Even more morales. Here's the uh, first line of defense of nature as you're going through the path. Slammy right in your eye. Oh, nature, you're so fun. Well, we're heading to a different spot. This one's dried up, I guess. So, there, that's what it looks like the entrance. In case anybody's uh, out this way, somewhere in near uh, Lake Lake, uh, Lake Bloomington. Yeah, Lake Bloomington, Illinois. Just go out there and look in the. If you want to do mushroom hunting, you, you just find yourself. Uh, the, the place that you probably don't really want to go and just go there. That's that's what I'm getting from this mushroom hunting so far is just walk in the areas where like deers go, not humans. 
and uh, you should get lucky if you can see them. Uh, since I'm a true naturist, I'm going to to the forest what once I found. And that'll come in handy for the next old guy that comes by. Look, it even has an arrow. Go that way. So if anybody uh, comes out here, finds my stick, uh, let me know about that. Because I kind of grew attached to the stick and I'm, I'm going to regret going to this next area without a stick. But maybe there'll be sticks there. You never know. That reminds me of my first apartment. You know, as odd houses go, this is really not a bad one. There's no mushrooms or sticks in there. Yeah, well, even though it's legal here in Illinois, this is probably a uh, federal land, I'm guessing. So no smoking the doobs here, kids. Just mushroom picking and looking at trees and leaves. This kind of leaf. So I know I'm supposed to be looking for mushrooms, but for now it's tri sticks. That one's pretty long. It's probably about 10 foot. 10 foot and uh, oh, I don't know about three inches at that side and about inch and a half on the end there uh, I would say probably a giant use this one well looks like we're gonna be sticking around here uh, that is a joke and I just used it but that's fine here we are walking up the path most traveled deeper into the heart of the forest of uh, Bloomington you know I get to, can't help myself again. I come around the corner and there's a oh that to be a nice walking stick. But it's still alive, so you you're lucky there, stick. Just saying. Something weird about this path. I mean it I don't know if you can quite catch this on the on film here, but we're going downhill and then a little bridge. probably a, a troll or something down there so I'm just gonna get over this bridge before somebody comes back okay all right continuing on the path uh, easterly direction I'll say looks like we're going in all right that, that explains the bicycle tires here's another nice specimen of a very large stick I don't know it's about the size of a house about the size of a tree but it's still a stick. I'm just, I'm just looking where I think mushrooms would be on a fallen tree. Here's a fallen tree. That is a tree that fell on it. That's interesting. But this, is a, this is a massive tree. I bet you didn't make a single sound because nobody was here to hear it fall. But that's a pretty big, pretty big tree falling. A lot of sticks, no mushrooms. They, they say there's a mushroom right at my. Right there. <laughs> the violence. Where? By the violets, there's By a, the there's the a thousand violets. The Am I getting closer? This way. This way. There's a point, pointing, 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 pointing. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. <laughs> to the left. To the left. Am I getting closer? Go forward. Forward. Uh, aha! Okay. <laughs> there was a there was a leaf that was hiding it. Am I getting that in the shot? I can't tell. Where's it at? There it is. Uh, okay. This is probably like the first mushroom I found. You didn't find it. Uh, I didn't even find it. Pinch it up. Okay, yay. A little baby morel. What did you find? Three. Three. How about you? How many did you find? I don't know. A lot. The rest. Because I found zero. Hold it. Hold. There's, there's our, our bounty. Since I've caught, I've caught zero of them, I'm holding the bag. There's probably mushrooms all around. All I can find is sticks. Come on, get some focus on that. <laughs> Try one here. Quite focusing. Uh, all right, never mind. Never mind the whole concept of this video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good catch. Anyway, I think this is a hedge apple tree. It's hollow. Uh, the further away it gets. Okay, 
quite see it there. It's still out of focus, or maybe it's my eyes. <laughs> it's out of focus. Anyway, it's peculiar. Peculiar. Oh, a spider lives in here. I killed it. A spider in the tree. It's a little spider web. Uh huh. Woody Woodpecker home. We're about done here, but we're exiting the uh, the troll bridge. I saw this tree that I missed before. Something caught my eye. There's a bolt. Big ass bolt stuck in this dead tree. I don't know. Maybe it was. Looks like it fell down due to wind. But it's just curious. Curious to see a bolt. You know, usually uh, you'd see something like that higher up on the tree. And this might have been a bigger tree from over there that uh, would indicate someone would hang something on there. And that's, you know, back in there, that's where the uh, deer stand is. So they can find it when they're walking down this trail. Even though it wouldn't be too. <laughs> Look out. There, there's a drop off right there. <laughs> where was I? Oh, yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> uh, I love the forest, kids. This is my favorite place to be. All right, we're heading out. What's the What's the final count? You got three. Te uh, the little little woman there got the rest of them. That's more than three. More than three. How many? How many did I get? None. Not even like a half of one, because I actually technically picked the one you found. Yeah, but you didn't see it. I barely see it when I had my hands on it, let alone looking on the forest ground. I called it an acorn tree, but obviously it's an oak tree. I don't know, I get in the habit of uh, calling trees uh, what kind of things they produce, like orange, banana. I know, no bananas, trees. Or is it a tree? I don't even know. Well, there's certainly no orange or banana trees here, but maybe in a future video that you might see from me. You might be seeing some orange trees and citrus trees. But that isn't official yet, so I'll let you guys know about that later. Anyway, here we are out in Illinois, near Bloomington, up north Bloomington, Bloomington Lake or whatever it is. With people. And uh, doing a little mushroom hunting. But I think the season's over probably this year. So we're back at the hot house. Time to go. So I just want to make sure that everyone understands, and I'm gonna put this at the top of the video, that if uh, if you go mushroom hunting and you don't know what you're doing, you're probably gonna die. So you need to find somebody that knows what they're doing. I've been around mushroom hunters all my life, and I wouldn't eat anything I pick out of the ground unless I get one of them to tell me that it's good. Morels are pretty obviously a morel when you see them, but other mushrooms kind of look like them. And there's other things out there, they call them sheep's heads, and things of that nature that you can eat, but you need to be a professional, or at least with a professional, if you're starting out, to really give you the ropes. So that's just the warning that I'll put in the beginning and the end. All right, peace out.